Hey everyone, so as you already know, I love indie hacking and I love building my own little projects. And I've just built a new project in two days with Next.js. You can already try it out under smartbio.me, it's already live. And what this is, is what you see on the screen. It's a link in bio website. In case you don't know what this is, it's something like Linktree. I think this is the most popular one. And the idea behind these websites is that on websites like Instagram and TikTok, you often only have one link that you can put in your bio, but creators wanna put multiple links there usually. And a link in bio website is like an intermediate page where you can put your different links and then you put the link to this page into your bio on your social profiles. Okay, but it's a competitive market. There are multiple services that offer this functionality. So what's special about mine? The special thing about my LinkedIn bio website is that each page has its own AI chatbot. It's not the first AI startup I've built. I also have smartdiary.co, which is a journaling website with a custom AI chatbot. And I also have tutorials on this channel where we build such a chatbot. So I already know this technology inside out, basically. And I can ask this chatbot questions about the user of this page. So this is my page here. And I can ask, for example, what is your current tech stack? And then after a short moment, we get this structured answer. It also listed some side projects and how it can contact me. And I can ask follow up questions. How can I work with you? Question mark. There's the answer with the contact information. Or let's try, what is your Instagram link? And it will link me to the Coding and Flow Instagram page. Okay, so where is this information coming from? Each user on Smart Bio has a dashboard in the backend. I implemented authentication with Next Auth. I have tutorials on this as well. As the database, I use Bazel Postgres, by the way, and for the images, I use Bazel Blob because it's just so easy to set up. So this is my backend, my dashboard, where I can add my user information. So this is my name, my bio. This is the stuff you see here on the page. But the cool thing is this AI info box, because here you can put all the information that you don't want to show on the page because it would be too much text, but the chatbot will know about the stuff. So I can ask the chatbot about anything in this box here or any other information on my page. For example, here I list what my hobbies are. So I could ask the chatbot this question. What are your hobbies? So what information you put in there is up to you. Whatever you want the chatbot to know about you. Then uh, we can uh, change our Slack, but this is a premium feature. Free users just have a randomly generated Slack and I'm planning to implement a premium tier because this is actually a business idea and I want this to make money. Now I haven't implemented a payment provider yet. So when you click on get premium, you just get this alert dialogue with my email address because I'm still verifying this idea and there's no point in wasting my time implementing a payment provider and then maybe no one uses this website. So if I notice that people start contacting me and asking me for a premium subscription, then I know that there's interest and then I will implement a payment provider. And then down here, we also have, of course, the bio links, which are the links here. And this is actually not super easy to implement because this is part of the form because we have to submit this data to the backend, right? But you can change the order of these elements and you can change the amount of these elements. I can add new links or a headline. So those are the two different options right now. This is a headline and those are links. You can add them here. For example, I could add a new headline, test, save the changes refresh the bio and there's our new headline. And this is not super easy to implement because yeah, we have a form that has a flexible size. So we can add and remove and reorder these form input fields. And we also have input validation, which makes it even harder to implement. And for stuff like this, for complicated forms, I recommend that you use React hook form because it has helpers that makes it so much easier to use. And they have this use field array helper hook here and this is what I'm using here for this dynamic form part because use field array allows you to add new form fields to reorder them and to submit them to the backend. For the UI I use Shetzian UI which is this popular component library and they have this form helper component and this integrates with React hook form so they work really well together so I use this. We can also take a look into the code 
Yeah, and this is basically how it looks. You have these different form fields here that each represent one field. It's a lot of boilerplate code, but this makes sure that your form is wired up properly, that uh, real-time validation works, that the labels and the error messages are connected to the correct input fields, and that everything is accessible because this is also important. And down here is our dynamic field where, as I mentioned before, I used the use field array hook from React hook form, and then we can add and remove these biolink elements. Yeah, and of course I can also remove elements, save this again, and it updates our page here. And lastly, at the bottom, we have a history of our chat messages. This way you can see what the users actually asked your AI chatbot. You know what are common questions, and you can add them up here to the AI info to answer them in the future. Here I also implemented a load more functionality for which I'm using SWR. SWR is a client-side fetching library. For the most stuff here I'm using React server components because this is Next.js. But for something like a load more functionality, you will still need client-side loading. And SWR is similar to React Query. I haven't really worked with React Query much before. This is why I use SWR. It's pretty simple to use. And they have this use SWR infinite helper hook here with which we can easily or relatively easily implement this load more functionality. So this is what I'm using here. Yeah, and that's the website. I would be happy if you try it out. I want to turn this into a real product. So it would be nice if you share this with someone. Let me know what you think about this idea. Try it out. And then we'll see us in the next video. Happy coding.